okay so once we have the animations let's go ahead and create an animator controller by the name of enemy one click on this and let's attach this enemy one right there as you can see now let's open this up let's move them right there okay and now let's add parameters so the first one will be bool which will be by the name of running then the next one will be bool which will be by the name of shooting and then the last one will be die okay now we have these animation this is the death walking and this is the firing let's drag and drop this fire right there okay just the animation then we need the crouch walking and then we need the die okay so just add them right there this is all of the animations now what we want to do is to make a transition from rifle fire to crouching and then from crouching to death then from rifle to death and then from death back to the rifle because when the player is respawn we want the player to actually walk again not fire so just actually remove the walking actually make the walking as a default layer okay and then from walking it goes to fire and from fire it will go back to walking again and then from walking he will die and then from the die he can walk again and remove this transition from there okay that's it now click on this first transition and right here make shooting true and then select the other one and make running true right here make die true and then select this one make die true and right here we will say running true okay so if he die then we will be respawn and he will be walking again like that that's it we have the parameters added now let's go ahead and open up the script okay the enemy script and at the top right here we will add a header by the name of enemy animation and spark effect and then we need a reference to our enemy animator so we'll name it as enemy after this right here in the pursue player we need to add the animation so the first animation when we are pursuing the player is running so when we are pursuing the player we will set the running to true and we will set the shooting to false and then we will add a else block in the else block if we are not pursuing the player then we will set these both to actually false okay after this we will go in the shoot player function and when we are shooting we want the shooting to be true and running to be false so you simply copy that and paste it down below and just change the shooting to true after this we need to add the respawn animation so right here we will set the die to true when the enemy dies and we will set the running to false and shooting to false as well and now when the enemy is being respawn then we will set the die to false and running to true that's it save it and now if we get back right here let's go inside the scene view click on enemy let's add the animator let's move the animator down below now okay here it is let's play the game and now actually what we need to do is to select all of these three go inside i think we need to select the animation from inside there okay so select the animation it doesn't still give out the option to make this animation loop time so we'll just do it from here double click on it set loop time apply select loop time apply select loop time and apply that's it 
okay now they are all loop time let's play it again opening the animator now the enemy is running towards us now we will notice that the enemy is coming as you can see right there he is now shooting now let's kill the enemy okay he is now dead okay he is playing the death animation in loop time so that's why it was giving that problem so actually we can double click on it and remove loop time click apply and now the walking was a bit messed up let me play the game actually okay and we need to set the walking speed according to the animation so as you can see he walks really fast we don't want that so if we click on our enemy let's make the enemy speed as 2 now let's play it again let's click on scene actually okay here is the enemy he is walking correctly now as you can see he is walking a little bit more faster now as well let's make it 1.5 and actually let's make the shooting radius as 5 so that the enemy can walk more closer to us so that we can see how does it looks okay so now let's see how does it looks he is still walking really fast as you can see and i think we need to make the actually what we did right here is here is the running here it is walking as you can see it is not in loop time so make sure that this animation is in loop time okay and let's select this one okay this one is correct let's play the game again and now let's see how does it looks okay now as you can see the enemy is walking a little bit fine as you can see now he is shooting us as you can notice okay now we are dead let's make the time between shoot as 5 seconds let's make this 10 and make the speed of the enemy as 1 okay the game is started again see how does it looks there is the enemy coming now let's kill the enemy as you can see he's dead and then after five seconds he will be respawn and you will notice it as you can see okay but now the speed is again becomes one after respawning so just make sure when the enemy respawn make the speed of it as one again okay that's it so now as you can notice our animations are working perfectly fine and with this done catch you guys in the next one